so in terms of um, actions and results, the first very demonstrable action and result is to ensure we have gender diversity in our leadership groups here. I've got an executive committee with a leadership balance of 60% women, 40% men, and an extended management group with the same sort of balance. This is a complete turnaround from three years ago when the figures were in the opposite direction. Another example of an action we take here to ensure that people are very focused on achieving these targets is to monitor using data where we stand in terms of diversity figures and some of the underlying attributes such as pay equality. Without using data to monitor these activities, you can't really manage the outcome you're seeking. So that's another important activity. And the third thing I mentioned is really more cultural about awareness for all of our employees. We all have biases. We all have unconscious biases. Making sure that we're all aware of these is important to us. And we give all employees training and unconscious bias. I myself went through it. I was surprised to find some of my own unconscious bias. And um, it's very good in awareness. And of course, awareness is the place you start with this. I think it's very important to be visible on this topic. Anytime I visit a BNY Mellon office, a European bank office, I'm meeting with women at all levels to talk about the issues that they're experiencing in how we can make sure that they're advancing their own careers. I like to use some examples that I've learned for myself in my own career. One is the importance of knowing yourself, seek feedback on what you do well, what you could do differently. And one of the things you might find is that others have more confidence in you than maybe you do in yourself. So surround yourself with people who can help build your confidence. And I can give an example of that that I experienced in my own career. I eventually learned that this had a name, which is called imposter syndrome, that we don't think we're good enough to achieve some of the things we've achieved. And by the encouragement of others, we can do more than we think we can. That means that sponsorship is very important. And a great example I like to use is that for my very first assignment outside of a country I was based in, I went to Sydney, Australia. I established an operating center there for Asia Pacific. When my boss first came to me with the idea to do that, I just told him he was crazy. And he came to my office every morning with his coat on, with the coffee for 10 days, until I agreed to at least take a trip there with him to explore the idea. And within 24 hours of landing, I agreed to do it. And that was my first international assignment. That changed my perspective on the world and on diversity. And so seek people who can help push you to those opportunities, even when you don't necessarily believe that you've got it in yourself to succeed at them. The advice I would have for other leaders starts with lead by example. Tone from the top on this topic is really essential. If you don't set the tone that gender diversity is important because it leads to better business outcomes, the rest of the company won't get on board. So that's, that's first and foremost. Secondly, I would say engage men. We tend to talk about this topic sort of in the absence of men. And I think it's very important to engage men because they're still in important positions of power and authority. And so getting them to be believers in this topic and getting them to introduce some of the change that's needed is what can change the tone from the top. And that's the third piece of advice I would have for leaders, men and women, is be sponsors of your employees as you go through, take your company through this change. Find that person who's got a lot of talent who maybe doesn't quite believe in themselves as much as the rest of the organization does when they see the results they've delivered and push them because you'll find that they can do probably what you think they can, maybe even more with your confidence. <laughs>